Okay, tonight we're doing uh, tofu. I'm going for a curry tofu. I just wanted to um, show you. When I buy the tofu, this is two different brands. We have, this is firm. This is extra firm. Right now, that's not important. But when I buy it, I, this is a fresh packet of tofu. If I'm using it as some type of meat substitute, um, like we're doing tonight, I will take this uh, fresh pack. As soon as I get home, I take this pack. I put one in the refrigerator because I use the fresh pack as my uh, egg substitute and my scrambles and things like that. Um, but for tonight, we're doing a, I guess, a meat substitute. Um, I prepare that by freezing it. So I would take this as soon as I get home. I pop one in the refrigerator refrigerator for my scramble or egg substitute and then I pop this into the freezer for my meat substitute so that's just what I wanted to share with you so I'm putting this back in the refrigerator okay so moving on this has been sitting in my freezer now I'm ready to prepare it and I'll start by uh, thawing it out it's frozen you can see and by freezing it, it changed the texture of the tofu and give it a more a, a meaty um, type of texture as well as a spongy um, texture, if I can explain it. Um, and it creates these pockets when it, within, the, within the tofu and it's more absorbent to flavors and, and liquids. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I have some cold water and I'm just let this thaw out in cold water naturally. Okay, so we're ready to start with our tofu. It has thawed out. And the next step would to be, okay, so we have our thawed tofu. So tofu sits in water. So you got the tofu and you want to drain that water out. Okay, so this is what we have. This is the tofu. It's, it's just leaking water. I'm trying to keep it over. Because the, the freezing of the tofu helps to draw the water out um, as well. So this is what we have. This is what we have. You can see if you ever seen tofu, this is not what it looks like coming fresh. So the texture has changed completely. It, it turned it into pretty much like a sponge. I can literally squeeze this like a sponge and get the moisture out of it because this is what we want to do next. We want to uh, press the tofu is what they call. So if you ever heard um, anything like press your tofu, this is what you're going for, pressing your tofu. So I'm going to turn you towards my sink because this water is draining. See, it's just stripping. It's full of moisture. And what you want to do to the tofu, the reason for pressing it, you want to get the moisture out or the water, all the flavorless water. Now, like I said, you cannot do this with a fresh pack of tofu. That freezing of the tofu changes the texture so much. And it turns it into, look at it, I, I can squeeze it. 
and the water will come out because it's so spongy. Now I do have a tofu press. This is my tofu press. I can put it in here and press it and it will make three pieces of dishes that I will have to wash. But I can literally take this and squeeze the wart out. That's because the texture has changed so much that it's not just gonna crumble from me squeezing it. So I'm gonna do this by hand because I do not wanna watch. I do not wanna wash my uh, tofu press. So basically you wanna get as much moisture you can get out of it. You see all this water, water all this water is in the tofu. So I'm gonna go ahead and work that out and we'll come back and then we'll, we'll cut our tofu and season it for marinade. Okay, so I've squeezed as much as the liquid I can get out by hand. And I'm gonna take this tofu press and put it back up. So this is how this works. Tofu press, I purchased this. Um, if you do not have a press, but if you use this method, the freezing method, you don't need a press. You can press it out by hand. But if you wanted to press your tofu without freezing it, you will need this tofu press or you need some other form of pressing you won't be able to do it by hand the only way you can do it by hand is you have frozen your tofu okay so with this i got it from amazon it has holes here you place your tofu in here put this on top there's a spring in this spring you put that spring right there where it goes, put this on here, push it down, lock it on both sides, and then you will let your tofu sit in there and press for at least 30 minutes. Then it'll come out looking like this, if you froze it. Now you can see, you, you see those air pockets? See, this is what makes it. That freezing gives you that meaty type of spongy texture. You want that if you want a meaty texture. So, with that being said, I'm going to put this tofu press away because I'm not washing this thing. I'm not washing it. All right. So, we have pressed our tofu. Now, we'll cut it up. And you cut it up however you want your tofu to be. And that's what I'll do. And I'm just going to cut it into fours starting. And then I think I'm going to do this way. So, as you can see this, and then I cut it into fours. So, these are the sizes we're going for today. Usually, I would cut it one more time here. But I'm going to leave them a pretty big to today. At least this is the way I've seen it. Um, for the recipe that I'm following, I'm going to do the same. They had bigger, or she had bigger uh, chunks. So I'm going to go for the same thing. I guess I'm going to go for the same thing. I might want to go for more because the more cubes you have, that means the more tofu meat you got. It's going to limit my meat. So you know what? I might just... Change that on up from what I was planning. I think I'm gonna do that because I want a little bit more. This is the this is block, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it a little further. 
I'm going for this size because I want a little bit more. So we'll do that and then we'll season it because we want it to marinate. It's starting to break up. I don't want it to break up. So once you freeze it, you know, the tofu is a little more forgiving. Um, if you don't freeze it, it's very soft and delicate. Um, if you don't know about tofu, it comes in dip, different textures. You got your firm. This is firm. You got your extra firm. And then you have, uh, I think it's a soft and a silken. Uh, the silken or the soft is used um, more for smoothies, desserts, that type of thing. Um, egg substitute on a more liquidy form of egg. And um, when you're doing this type of recipe, they say to use firm or extra firm. And the difference between firm and extra firm uh, they say that um, when it's more firm, the extra firm does not soak in moisture or something like that as well as firm. So I guess your best is firm. With the firm, you can do your scrambles and everything like that. So that that's my go-to. I may have extra firm because they don't have the firm at the store, but my go-to is firm. Okay, so we'll get ready to do our marinade. Okay, so we're going to marinate our tofu. So I place it in the bowl. And we will be marinating with uh, curry powder, black pepper, all-purpose seasoning of your choice, garlic powder, onion powder, and I think that's it as far as I marinate. And then we'll let that sit for 15 to 30 minutes. We'll let it marinate for 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, now first we're going to drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. So this is seasoning stick on pretty well and we are coating this is uh the curry that i have i just realized that i'm using a more of an indian curry instead of a jamaican curry i was going for a jamaican curry um i picked this up at the indian grocery store so i should have realized that it was an indian curry so if you can see that the indian curry is more red and um the jamaican curry is more yellow because it has more turmeric in it. That's what I heard. So I can see that. So we'll be using this curry today. So season to your discretion. That's how much I got in there. Pepper. That's my black pepper. Then this is the all-purpose seasoning that I'm using, 14 spices, salt-free. No salt. So, no salt. You don't have to worry too much about how much you put in. Then we got our onion powder. That's not open. <coughs> Bless me. Let me see. I think I got some lane pot already open. This one is not open. Um, okay. Well, I guess let me go ahead and open this up.
Okay, so onion powder. And garlic powder. And then we'll get that all mixed up and incorporated. So you want to I think I might need to add some more oil. You just want to get that all mixed up and be, you know, gentle. You don't want to break up your tofu, but you want to get it mixed up. Mine is looking a little dry. I think I need to add a little bit more oil. Now, mind you, um, in the, you know, in this state of the tofu it is in, it will soak up moisture very well because it's pretty much a sponge at this point. I know I, I um, cooked it once and I put it in a liquid marinade. I mean, it just soaked it up just like a sponge. I was like, wow. So when they say that, it's like a sponge. That is the truth. That is the truth. So, I think that's pretty much incorporated very well. This is what we're looking like. And I'm going to let that marinate for 15 to 30 minutes. And then we'll put it in the oven. We're, we're putting this in the oven. Alexa, set timer for... Let's go for 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Uh, while we're waiting on our tofu to marinate, we can go ahead and prepare our veggies. Um, if you follow my videos, I for my produce, my produce, I try to prep it. Um, I buy it fresh and I prep it by cutting it up and then I freeze it to try to preserve my produce. Um, like I stated, in this vegan life, there's a lot of produce. So sometimes you may not get to it in time. So to prevent that, buy it fresh, cut, prep, freeze. So I have some onions that um, I already um, cut up and frozen and they've been sitting out just thawing. For this purpose, I also have some green bell peppers, green bell peppers, onions, and I also have some carrots, this uh, tri-colored carrots that I have sliced. And so all three of these were already, they were pur purchased frozen sorry, purchase fresh and cut and prep and frozen. Um, did not do that with my potatoes, so we'll go ahead and get those prepared. I'm using, I don't know what you call these, white potatoes with the thin skin. <laughs> That's what I call them. White potatoes with the thin skin. All right. As you can see, they've been sitting a minute, uh, starting to grow root. So I need to go and get these together. So I am I have already cleaned them, rinsed and cleaned them. I'm going to keep my skin on. This is a thin skin. I'm going to keep it on. So we'll get that root off here. Then I plan to dice, dice them pretty thin or small so they'll cook faster. Because I know everything else is not going to take so long to cook. So in that case, you want to just make sure that your veggie pieces are small enough to cook accordingly. So that's what I'm going for with my potatoes. That's what we're going for here. So.
Okay, we'll keep it like that. We'll just keep it like that for now. So I also keep my veggie scraps um, so I can make homemade veggie broth. So if you're not already doing that, that's something you can start doing. Trying to see, do I want to use all these potatoes or not? I might not. If I don't, guess what I'm doing with them? Freezing them. <laughs> For later use. That's what we'll do with them. So I'll take these scraps. What's left? Put it in my veggie bag in the freezer. And this is what I got so far. This is my second uh, bag. Freeze it. When it's full, I'll make my own homemade veggie broth. So that's how we do that. And we'll take these potatoes and we'll sit them in some water um, so they don't turn color. Change to colors. And just like that, nope. I got one more thing to cut up. I'm sorry. I was about to say just like that, our veggies are ready. Look at this. I ain't even, I ain't even touch that. See? I need to decide how many potatoes I'm about to put in here so I can go ahead and freeze the other ones. Let's see how much do we want to do. What you think? Half of this, maybe? I'm thinking maybe half. The same amount as my potatoes. Not my potatoes, but my... Um, same amount as my carrots. How much potato do you want, Katria? How much potato do you want? That's the question. Hmm. Do. I, don't, I don't think I want to do all of these. So let me see. I freeze these. Hmm. About half, I think I'm gonna keep. I think that's what I want to do. I'm gonna do about half. I think. Yeah, no, maybe. Ooh, ooh. I can freeze these. I can make maybe a scramble, a hash, fry them for breakfast. Freezer. That's what you do. That's how you preserve these things. Preserve this produce. So we'll let this sit. 
some cold water until we get ready and I'm going to clean this cutting board and then I still need to cut up a little bit of Scott bunny pepper. That's what we're missing. Just a little bit, because uh, you don't mess with the Scott Bunny. You do not mess with the Scott Bunny like that. Let me see. I, I, see. I don't even know. So I have these green Scott Bunny peppers. And I think I need probably like... I'm thinking I cut this much off. And I'm going to slice that very thinly. And uh, that's that's all we're going to put in there. <laughs> so we're going to take that and we're going to do this very thinly. That's what we're doing with the Scott Bunny. So, I'm going to take that, put it in here. This is our Scott Bunny. Pepper. And I'm going to put some garlic in this one. As well, need some garlic. And uh, if you have fresh garlic, I suggest you use that. But if you're cooking like Katria, we're doing this minced garlic right here. Yep. That's the level of garlic that I'm on. <laughs> Let me see how much we probably need. I'm going to say bye. Probably a tablespoon. Tablespoon of garlic, or a table fork, as I just did. A table fork of, of garlic. <laughs> all right, so, all right, I think we got everything prepared, and now we're just waiting on the tofu. Okay, so the tofu has finished marinating. I have placed it on a baking sheet. Um, we're going to bake it for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Um, and this is the bowl it came out of. Just keep this bowl. You'll use that. You put some water in it to get all of those seasonings to throw into your pot later. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. Okay, so you want to flip your tofu at the halfway mark. Just a little 
my tofu crumble right here. going for you want it to be crispy before we put it into the uh, curry sauce all right so let's pop this back in the remaining of the time Tofu is ready. Look like some are more than ready. Let's get that out. It's ready. It's, it's very crispy. You can see it's still soft. That's how crispy it is. And that's good. That's exactly what we want. We get these little crumbles. All right. Let's go ahead and get this pot started. Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and get this going and started. And we will start by sauteing. And just added some grapeseed oil. Go ahead and should be good and hot and go ahead and put the onions in peppers Also add our garlic at this time. And if you had fresh ginger. You add your fresh ginger at this time. I don't have any fresh ginger, but I do have some uh, ginger powder. Um, so I add ginger powder, also some thyme, and then the curry. Well, matter of fact, I'm going to add my Scott bonnet first. Get all the veggies in first, then we'll add the, the powders. Ooh, the 
black pepper in my nose. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, powdered ginger, um, our curry, and um, I have dried thyme. If you have uh, fresh thyme, you'll use that. And we're just gonna cook those powders in a little. Toast the seasonings up. Uh, curry smell a little different from uh, you know the Jamaican curry that I'm used to which is uh, a little spicy this this uh, spicy as in uh, heat spicy um, this one is a little cinnamon I, I smell more of the cinnamon spices um, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in here just to deglaze the pan and to uh, break down the curry and powder. I know it's smelling right in here. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to add my carrots. I have a medley of purple and white and orange carrots. So I'll add them at this time. Uh, the recipe that I'm following, she did not add any potatoes to her recipe, but I want potatoes in mine, so I'm adding potatoes in mine. I'm going to go ahead and add them at this time. I'm going to add my potatoes. Get all my veggies in there. Get all those flavors there. Make sure I'm following this uh, recipe right. <laughs> okay. Let's cook for two to three minutes. I think my potatoes is going to um, take my cooking time. Make that a little longer. But I had to have some potatoes. Okay, so all right, at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of all purpose seasoning. This is the one I'm using 14 spices, salt free.
Okay, I don't think I mentioned that this was a coconut curry, so, um, <clears throat> oh, these spices, <coughs> that's good. Now this time, I'm going to add some coconut milk. This is a coconut curry. Followed by this, we're we're going to add that uh, cup of water, a cup of water, <clears throat> and we're going to use those seasonings that was left in this bowl. A cup of water. I'm just going to fill that same coconut milk can. And I'm gonna put it in this bowl. Make sure I get all these good seasonings that we left behind. And we're gonna pour that in there. Drain it up. And she used unsweetened coconut milk. I think mine sweetened because it did not specifically say unsweetened. So I'm assuming it's sweetened. So that's what I have. So that's what I'm doing. But um, she did specifically use a unsweetened curry. Or I'm sorry, unsweetened coconut milk. All right. So... Next, we're going to add a little bit of curry seasoning. Um, she said this is to give it color. So, I'm going to add a little bit more to give it some color. Now, mind you, she was using a Jamaican curry seasoning. So, and I'm using this uh, Indian style curry, which is, a, is more red than uh, yellow. If you're used to a Jamaican curry, it's a little different. And I can tell by the smell that it may taste different as well. But it's a curry just the same. But just this is Indian curry. And we're supposed to be just going for a color change here. After adding that... Uh, coconut milk to give it some more color. And at this point, um, this is where you will taste your, uh, your curry and see if you need to add any more seasonings. Then we're going to break this down to a simmer, and I'm gonna pretty much let this simmer until my uh, potatoes get soft because I chose to add potatoes to my um, to my recipe. All right, so let's taste this thing and see what it's working with, and then we'll see if we need to add anything. Okay, I can taste that coconut. I need something though. I can see I need something in here. I think I need some salt. I said I need some salt. 
black pepper, Let's start there because my all-purpose seasoning don't have any salt is salt free that could be why I'm gonna take I'm gonna start with a pinch of this Himalayan salt why my pinch ain't holding I can't even like I can't even get no pinch probably because I'm trying to do more than the pinch that's why Okay, um, now let's see. After adding salt and pepper, what are we working with? Let me give it a taste now. See if this is where I want it to be. Mm. That did something, but it feel like I'm still missing something. Okay, so. I'm going to give it some more something. What is we missing here? Okay, so when she added more seasoning, she added, she felt that she needed some more all-purpose seasoning. So we'll try her combination and see where that put us. Onion powder and garlic powder. This when she added more seasonings. So we go with some more onion powder. And I'm going to turn this down some. So we want that to simmer pretty much. And let's get some more garlic powder in there. And see what that do for my taste buds. do taste a little spice. I don't know if it's as much spice I would like to have. Alright, let's see. See what it tastes like now. Is this what I want? Mm. It's good now. It ain't. What am I missing? I taste the heat. I taste that heat. It's that sneak up on the heat. thinking I was going to add like some Scott Bunny sauce. I have it. Maybe I just need to let it cook cook down some more. And then um, let me just stick with what I got. Put this lid on. Let it simmer down. Alexa, stop. So we've been simmering for about 15 minutes, but um, my carrots and potatoes are not where I would like them to be. So we're gonna let 
this simmer down a little bit more. Maybe give it about 10, 15 more minutes. But it's simmering down pretty nicely. Okay, and while we're waiting on that, I went ahead and put me some brown rice on to um, use to top or to make a bed of rice for my curry. And I am just using that good old boil in the bag, um, brown rice, great value, Walmart, all day. And that's what we'll be using for our grain. Okay, so I think, um, Curry and potatoes and carrots are simmered down to where I need them to be. We can go ahead and get ready to add our tofu. And it has simmered down It's looking very nice, looking very nice. Let's see if I can bring you in. Bring you in so you can see what we're looking like here. So even though this is a red curry, it looks similar. It's looking pretty Jamaican style color curry. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add our uh, tofu. simmer for about five to ten minutes with the tofu and, and we'll be done. We'll have our curry tofu. And if you can hear my brown rice is boiling out of control. When she put her tofu in, she was like, you, you be gentle. But see, I froze mine so it has a more sturdy texture. You don't have to be so gentle. And that thing going to be good and, and uh, chewy, similar to chicken. Okay, so this is what we're looking like with the tofu incorporated. And we're going to put the lid on and let it simmer for about five to ten minutes maybe close to five because my liquid is looking like five is all we need alexa set timer for five minutes five minutes starting now So this curry is looking a little thick to me. So I'm going to add a little bit of my homemade vegetable broth. Just to thin it out a little bit. I don't want all the liquid to cook out. I want a little bit of gravy in there. You hit, that, you hit, you hit on that rice. I was thinking I would have to add um, some cornstarch gravy to it. I don't know. I 
was thinking that, but I was wrong. Now let's get that simmer on with a little bit more liquid. Okay, so I think this tofu is ready. Take these uh take my potatoes. Okay, they soft enough. Okay, checking the potato mean you gotta eat the potato, Katrina. Okay, so <laughs> Ooh. I just want to uh bring you in, bring you in on this tofu curry tofu we got going here you can see if you can see you can see the bounce if you see that bounce in that tofu that's what you want your tofu to be bouncy that's that texture that's that texture right there and take it off the heat Take it off the heat. So, so let me see if I can position this thing so you can really get in there. Get in there. Let's see what we got going on here with this tofu curry. Tofu. We got your potatoes. We got... Potatoes, we got the carrots, we got the gravy. Ooh, this is looking good. Let me let me let me taste this. Let me taste this. When I taste it, then we're gonna get this thing plated. Or should I get it plated then taste it? I think we're gonna taste it. But okay, I, I need you to see. I need you to see. If you're not familiar with tofu, I know myself, prior to my vegan journey, I was like, tofu is mushy. You see that? You see that bounce? Wait, let me bring it in. You see that bounce? That meaty texture? You're going to get that by freezing it. You got to freeze it. Ooh, let me bite this thing. Let me bite it. Mmm. So meaty texture. Like chewing chicken. Mm-hmm. Oh man. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. Got a potato. I'm gonna get one of these carrots. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that's a success, but I'm going to get that thing plated. I'm going to actually get it plated. Okay, so we about to get this thing plated. This tofu is so good and chewy. And you know it's like a sponge, right? So as I chew it, it's just like juice just like squirt in my mouth as I chew it. it that's just how juicy it is. So this is... You, there's my little brown rice doing what it do. <clears throat> now for color purposes, white rice probably would be a better choice. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to get those extra nutrients and such. So, 
we just gonna hit that thing with this tofu. Mm-mm-mm. Just throw it off the side like that. Them spices, them, them spices got their nose running. Okay, so this is tofu, right? This is not meat. Look, you, look at that tender. You see that bouncy? Look, can you see that? I don't even know if you can see it. So I'm going to have to bring you in. I'm going to have to bring you in. Okay, so this is what this tofu, curry tofu is looking like. I just want to bring you in closer so you can see if you can see just see that tenderness look at that juice and the only way you're gonna get that with tofu that that tenderness is to freeze it beforehand Okay, I'm trying to get my pictures right now. Bring this thing in just to let y'all see how that look. That's a good side shot right there. Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, look at that. You can see that tenderness. So juicy because, like I said, it's like a sponge and the, the moisture just... And I'm try, trying to figure out where is my, all my moisture going? Into the soul food. Because it's a sponge and that's what it do. It's all that flavor. All this meaty texture. Mm. Shoot, my um, tofu more tender than my, my carrots and my, my potatoes. Mm. Oh, I'm going to get some of this right. It's getting jealous. It's getting jealous. But um, let me sit down and enjoy my food. This was a sausage.